Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is June 27, 2018. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at this market, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading up by a point and a half. Right now, they're sitting at 27.30 per contract. All in all, the futures were much, much lower right here around 5 o'clock in the morning, but they have come decently off of the lows. So we'll see how the market plays out once the opening bell rings. Again, it's been a, a pretty rocky week so far, and uh, we'll see what we get today. Yesterday was a little on the slower side uh, due to volume, but Monday was a blockbuster day. So again, we'll see what we get here. 2018 has been a great, great year. So if you haven't done so, come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room all right let's get started here we're going to start the day off with sonic s-o-n-c and what you're going to see here is this stock is getting hit a little bit closed at 35 dollars and 63 cents yesterday now trading at 32 dollars and 90 cents they reported earnings and you could see the sell-off that followed yesterday after the closing bell again right off the bat i am seeing um some support right around 31 after that, we'll really have to go back to the drawing board. You have a nice gap window around the $26 area as well. But 31 looks to be a little bit of support, at least near term. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, again, Sonic uh, reporting earnings. Remember, this stock really doesn't trade a whole lot of volume. I know it has in June, but if you go back to May and April, you got to be a little bit careful. Rarely does it trade a million shares a day. So I just want to give everybody a heads up there. Let's take a look at AVAV, which is Aero Environment. Uh, what you're going to see here is this stock is trading at 57.05, closed at 62.23. So good little pullback here. I am seeing support for this around the 5440 level. Again, this is a lighter volume stock, so it has overshoot potential. This stock on a good day probably trades two, three hundred thousand shares. On a normal day, <clears throat> excuse me, on a heavy volume day, it probably trades, you know, seven, eight hundred thousand. So again, uh, you got to be careful with these names because they can overshoot levels. So make sure uh, if you're going to trade this, you're in the intraday stock chat room with us. Let's take a look at WWE. This is catching a big, big bid this morning. Stock closed at $66.62. Now it's trading at $73.20. This is on the back of news that they secured a deal with USA and Fox Sports. I thought this deal was already announced last month, but uh, apparently the news is being recirculated or finalized and stock's getting a little bit of a bid. Be careful with this one. It's just way overbought, still a very strong name. I do own, full disclosure, I do own put options in WWE. All right, let's take a look at General Mills. GIS is the ticker symbol here. The stock right now is trading at $47.52. It closed at $46.06 yesterday. So General Mills up taking a little bit more. I have to think that we're probably coming up into pretty good resistance around here with the stocks behaving pretty well so far. Again, it's not a huge move. I'll see if I can work out some gap levels for this. I'm not really sure. I like anything that I'm seeing here. Um, but we'll see how it plays out. Let's take a look at Marvell. M-R-V-L is the ticker symbol here. Uh, this stock got an upgrade today, so the stock is catching a little bit of a bid. Closed at 1991, now trading at 2071. So that's a nice little pop there. The stock has been beaten down. I'm not sure I still am sold on the upgrade here. I would really like this stock a lot better if it went down to around $19. And I think traders can probably play it there. Uh, if it does come back down. So keep 19 on the radar today. As for the upgrade, uh, we'll see where we go. Nothing I would do with it here. We'll wait for the opening bell to ring. We do have a merger out here. It looks like Conagra Foods, CAG, is buying Pinnacle Foods. Conagra closed at 38.23, now trading at 36.56. This got down to around $34.50. So again, there's a lot of support around the $34 area for Conagra today if it does get back down there. Let's take a look at Pinnacle Foods. Uh, that was also a little bit lower. It looks like they're going to be bought out for 68 bucks a share. So <clears throat> this should do a little bit better than what it is. But either way, stock right now trading at 65.75. I don't know if there's much I would do with it here. I think maybe investors were waiting for a higher bid. But either way, uh, I wouldn't do much with either name at the moment. Conagra can still be played. Again, you got to wait for that $34 level. All right, let's switch gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is trading down another $2.90. Gold is severely 
oversold at this point. So again, we'll see how gold plays out um, once the opening bell rings. But I do think it's probably due for a short-term bounce. This has been absolutely annihilated recently. Uh, gold futures, again, trading at $1,256.90 GLD, which is good ETF to track the movement in gold, is trading at $118.95. Next up, we have crude oil. Crude oil today trading higher by $0.73 cents to $71.25 a barrel. Take a look at the USO, which is a good oil ETF to track the movement. You'll see this is trading at $14.43, up from $14.27. Oil is on a tear right now, back in its uptrend. So again, we'll respect what we're seeing there. The U.S. dollar index today uh, trading up by about 36 cents at the moment. Dollar pushing up towards the highs again. Dollar remains very, very strong. And bond yields down about three basis points at 2.851%. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. Again, if you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We've had a great 2018. Things are just starting to heat up. And again, uh, we're going to look to keep that streak going of uh, consecutive winning trades and more winners in the books here. So with that being said, everybody, if you want to trade alongside of us, come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. Have a great session, everybody, and we will all see you on the charts.